Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is part two showing off the new software from a software company called Mobile SRC. They're new in the Windows Mobile world. Um, this new piece of software called G Scroll will work with the HTC Touch Diamond, the HTC uh, Touch Pro, the Fuse, the Touch Pro and Verizon Sprint, and pretty much every other variant of the Touch Diamond and Touch Pro that exist, and there are a lot of them right now. Now, what this application does, it's actually like a utility, really, is it takes advantage of the capacitive touch area down here below the screen. Now, by capacitive, I mean that you don't actually have to push on the buttons um, with pressure to make a, a key press be registered. Now, out of the box, the uh, HTC Touch Diamond Touch Pro really doesn't take advantage of this very much. Um, the only place that you can use the capacitive touch uh, panel is when you're scrolling through a picture. You can run your finger around the ring, around the D-pad. Uh, but this program that I'm about to show you turns up the functionality on this area hugely. Okay, so really we're talking about three pieces of functionality that I'm going to go over here. Uh, two having to do with scrolling and one having to do with program launching. So here we are in the, uh, in the programs menu. And of course I can scroll around by clicking and dragging my finger on the screen. Or now with G-Scroll, I can actually rub my finger along the capacitive area. And you can see it move on the screen. And I can do that on either side. I can do it up or down, and I can also do it side to side. So it kind of acts as a really quick way to uh, move around around on the icons, uh, kind of like a D-pad. Um, the only con I hear, see here is that the sensitivity isn't that great. So if you scroll one time, it goes down one icon. I would like to see future versions of G-Scroll allow you to change the sensitivity on that. Now this really comes in handy when you're in a Pocket Internet Explorer, for example. So let's go to Pocket Now Mobile, and I'll show you um, what it's like using G-Scroll to scroll around on a long web page. Okay, so here we are, and I want to scroll down the page, and just like the programs, I can, you know, do that with my finger. But instead, I'm going to run my finger down, and you can see it scroll down here. Like so. Now... Now, like I said, it's pretty useful, though I wish the sensitivity was adjustable. Um, the other thing you can do with G-Scroll that has to do with scrolling is actually use the XYZ axis. So you can tell the device this way, this way, or this way to scroll around. The way you do this is you have to enable the feature by double tapping your finger gently on the, uh, in the center of the D-pad. Okay, so I've got the 3D-esque scrolling enabled, and watch what happens. I tilt the device, it scrolls down a little bit. I tilt it some more, I, I tilt it all the way, and it scrolls down all the way. I tilt it back, and then it goes up. Is this useful? I'm not too sure. Um, the problem with this is that if you want to scroll down a lot, you have to kind of tilt the screen away from your face, and um, that kind of changes the viewing angle. You may not be able to see the screen. Where I see this being useful is if you want to scroll down just a little bit. So you would kind of just inch it up a little bit, inch it up a little bit. And if you're walking down the street and you're trying to scroll down uh, without, you know, using two hands, I think this may be a good way to, to do that. Though again, I wish there were some options on sensitivity. And to turn off this function, if it's annoying you, like it is me right now, um, you tap on the center button and it turns off. Now the other piece of functionality that I want to talk about is the, the program launching. So now, instead of just these four buttons to work with, we have four programmable capacitive buttons. So I've set the home button to open up messaging if I double tap it. So watch this. And there's messaging. I've set the call start button to open up the calculator. And there comes the calculator. Very, very useful. Um, that functionality especially because out of the box, the Touch Diamond, Touch Pro really don't have that many customizable um, hardware buttons. So let me show you what this all looks like in the settings and how you actually configure the different things. So I'm going to go into settings and system and G-Scroll. So here we have tap and tilt mode, which is the one where you double tap on the center and you tilt the device around like this and this to scroll around. And there are a lot of options here that determine when the tap and tilt mode actually works. So sometimes it'll work when the scroll bars are present or when there are no scroll bars present. So you really want to read the manual. And the same applies down here for panel swipe mode. You can turn it off or you can have it work uh, conditionally. So look at the manual for that. And then we have the quick launch interface, which is really easy to use. So um, if I want to make the back button be set to a program, I click set and I will get a list of programs and I can move down the program list and say I want 
teeter to start when I uh, double tap the back button. So I click OK, and if I double tap the back button, here comes teeter. So overall, I think G-Scroll is a pretty good program on the right track. It's kind of half-baked. Um, there were times when I had to consult the user manual just to understand what the settings meant. And really, in a good program, there's, there's help built in. There are ways to know what it means when it says send scroll only or send direction keys only. I, I really don't understand what this means. Simultaneously, the sensitivity wasn't that great in some programs, and I always have trouble enabling and disabling some of these modes to get it to work right. Um, fortunately, the program is very cheap. It's $4.99. You can get it at mobilesrc.com. I really like it for the uh, the functionality of the program launching and also for scrolling around with the uh, the touchpad. I think that really makes it well worth the $4.99, but again, it does need some work in the next version, and I hope the developer is working diligently on that. That's it for now.